Hello everyone! In the previous video, we used a single line of CSS code to handle an incredibly complex design. It's a masonry layout, so in this video I will continue to share with everyone new knowledge. One line of CSS code can remove the background of the images. Crazy, right? Moreover, it supports all current browsers. Please subscribe for more awesome CSS and web design knowledge. Thanks everyone so much. Have you ever encountered this situation? You have spent a lot of time designing a beautiful website. Everything including the layout and colors are perfect for you. Until the user uploads a product image. All the fun is over, your design is completely ruined. Because the user uploaded an image that is not a PNG, the background color of the image is completely different from the background color you wanted. In this case, the most common option is to change our design. Changing the desired background color to the product color, which is the original white. We cannot ask the user to remove the background color or choose a different background color before uploading. Because in fact, the white background color of the product is a common design rule, especially for images serving e-commerce. But actually in this case, I have a much better option. In CSS, I will point to the image that is inside each card item. and use the Mix Blend Mode property. Imagine this. We have two elements. The first element is the HTML div element, which is used to hold the image. The other element is the image. When we add the Mix Blend Mode attribute to the image, the browser will perform a color comparison between the image and the div element. Note that the color comparison is done on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis. Pixels at the same position will be compared with each other. When the mix blend mode property has a value of Draken, this comparison will have the following rule. The color with the higher darkness level will be kept. In this case, the original white blood is always the color with the highest lightness, so it will definitely be removed. And the remaining color will be used as the color of the final result. Similarly, with similar color comparison pairs, the original white will always be the color that is discarded. Next, we compare the color of the product with the color of the diva element. The product color is usually a very strong color, while the color of the div, although not the original white, is not dark. So with this comparison, the color of the product will definitely be darker, so it will be kept to display the final result. And so on, other comparison positions continue to take place and help us bring the final result. A crazy right? Through this, we also understand its nature. In this case, this property does not remove the background of the image, but changes the background color to match the background color of the div it is overlapping. This has helped us overcome the initial problem of inconsistent colors. But it doesn't end here, we still have two questions to solve. How to know which color is darker, and when to use this feature. There are many ways to distinguish which color code is darker. One of the easiest ways is to convert your color code to HSL code. I will use the two colors we compared at the beginning of the video, which is the color of the HTML div. And the remaining color is the original white color of the image. In the HSL code table, the third parameter will reflect the brightness of that color code. The higher the value, the brighter it is. Which means that when comparing two color codes, the color with the lower third parameter is darker. It's simple, right? So when should we use this property? Of course, when we need to remove the background of an image, it is too powerful for us to use. However, make sure you follow the rule. For the product background to be removed, it must be brighter than the desired background color. And the desired color must be brighter than the product color so that the product is retained in the final result. Once you get the hang of it, feel free to use it. Because at the moment, the Mix Blend Mode property is compatible with most popular browsers. It's surprising, isn't it, that such a powerful property is compatible with all popular browsers today. If you find these shares interesting, please like and subscribe so I can accompany you, share with you more interesting knowledge about web design and programming. With my own ideas and designs, I only share what you cannot find elsewhere. I hope it will be interesting and useful to everyone. If you have any questions and wish for any topic to appear in the following videos, do not hesitate to leave a comment because that is also one of the ways new videos on our channel are published. Finally, thank you and see you in the next video.